Hey everyone, welcome to Chalchitra Talks. My name is Sunitha. Hai. This week, I want to talk about a British DJ and composer, Simon Green, who goes by the stage name of Bonobo. He makes electronic music, mainly including uh, ambient instrumental elements, heavy beats and vocal samples. Because of all these elements, his music can also be categorized under down-tempo music, which is again ambiental electronic music uh, with a heavy emphasis on beats. Bonobo is fairly a very recent addition to my uh, music collection. I had a few songs before Bonobo, ye kuch songs sunne thi, but I didn't like them right away. Recently, I was probably listening to Bonobo's third album called Days To Come and I really really liked it. In this album, many tracks have a very strong uh, jazz element and recently I've been trying to explore more uh, in the genre of jazz and especially contemporary jazz. So for this reason, I ended up really liking this album. So for this episode, I want to talk about my favorite songs from this very album, Days to Come. It was released in 2006 and it came out to be a very different work from Bonobo's previous work. Uh, in the main change being that in this album, many tracks have full-length vocals rather than just vocal samples. Uh, this album is heavily featuring a vocalist called Biker. I'm not sure if this is the correct pronunciation because her name is spelled B-A-J-K-A but apparently pronounced as Biker. Anyway, her voice is very husky and deep which the composition style of Bonobo's compliment karti hai. And she has sung vocals for uh, four tracks in this whole album and definitely her contribution makes this album stand out from Bonobo's other works. The first song that I want to talk about is the title track, A Days to Come, and it's the first song in the album. It's a very jazzy track, where uh, Biker's voice combined with the instrumental part makes it really amazing to listen to. The lyrics of this song, similar to other tracks in this album, are very positive and based on the theme of life, uh, empowering it and appreciating it. To talk a bit more about the vocalist, uh, she has previously worked with a lot of gypsy, jazz and folk bands and after listening to her voice you will understand that definitely her voice is really well suited for these uh, genres. She also reminds you of the artist Nina Simone. The next song that I want to talk about is called Between the Lines and it's again a song featuring uh, Baikur. This song has a very catchy flute intro which repeats throughout the song. This particular tune combined with the heavy beats and then adding the vocalist's voice makes the whole song really really catchy. The lyrics are again based on the theme of uh, positivity in life. Another song that I want to talk about featuring uh, the vocalist Biker is Night Light. And my favorite thing about this song is the beautiful cello part that comes and it's been repeated only twice in the whole song. I find this song to be very well balanced ki na hi vocals uh, majority form part kar rahe song ka na hi instrumental part. Both are very well balanced and uh, I also love that the cello part which is really beautiful it's been included in the song only twice making it very subtle and not having it overpower the whole song even if it's very beautiful. The last song that I want to mention from this album is called Keto and it's a majorly instrumental song and this is a very good example of Bonobo's signature compositional style where he starts with one or two layers, one or two samples in the track and as the track progresses, keeps adding more and more layers till the whole song builds up. Similarly, song made begins with a harp sample and then the bass is added, then drums are added, then more and more layers are kept on adding until midway into the song, all these layers fade out in the background and this vocal sample comes in and the whole way the layers have been added and then on top of that, the way the vocal sample has been added again makes it for a very interesting song to listen to. So these are my favorite tracks from this album and some more songs worth checking out are Recurring, Walk in the Sky and If It Stayed Over. Bonobo's music can be a very good background music to listen to while walking and or even if you just want to take a nap. But this particular album is definitely more catchy and uh, worth listening to properly at least the first time. And if you also like artists such as Porter's Head and Fotet, then you might also like this particular album from Bonobo. So this was my recommendation for the week and please let me know what you think about uh, Bonobo's album Days to Come in the comments and I'll be back next week with another recommendation.